Let's follow Jesus Christ truthfully. Saturday of week 10 of Ordinary Time. This talk and meditation is prepared by Father Jeremy Habiarimana. Elisha got up and marched after Elijah. Reading the fir- first book of the Kings, 19, 19 to 21. Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphat. As he was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen, he was following the twelve. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen, ran after Elijah and said, Please, let me kiss my father and mother goodbye and I will follow you. Elijah answered, Go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha left him and taking the yoke of oxen, slaughtered them. He used the plowing equipment for fuel to boil their flesh and gave it to his people to eat. Then he left and followed Elijah as his attendant. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Psalm 15, 2 through 5, 7 through 8, 9 through 10. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord, are you? O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who fold fast my lot. I bless the Lord who consoles me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the nether world, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Alleluia. Psalm 119, 36. Incline my heart, O God, to your decrees and favor me with your law. The Gospel. Reading the Holy Gospel according to Matthew 5, 33 to 37. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, Do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you vow. But I say to you, do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brethren, our Lord Jesus Christ is presented to us through his word to continue to lead us to the house of the Father. In the first reading, Jesus introduces us to Elijah and Elisha, driven by the Holy Spirit. Elijah comes to choose Elisha, who is also allowed to be invaded by the Holy Spirit, and follows him. If there is anything spectacular, it is the work of the Holy Spirit, the work of the Spirit of the Lord, in the lives of those who want to seek him without hypocrisy, without delay. The Holy Spirit keeps calling. Jesus keeps calling, but he calls us as he did Elisha, passing through Elijah. Today, Jesus also speaks to us through other people, inspire other other people to communicate something to us. For example, someone who can tell you that when he looks at you, he sees that you can be a good priest or none. If we really have a fire in our hearts, even if it's not hot, we have to take it seriously. It can't be that someone proposes something to you if it's just his and that it enters your heart with, without there being complicity in you. A heart justly opens to what is being proposed. It's what we know fulfilled between Elijah and Elisha. Another important thing is that sometimes we serve Jesus by serving his people here in, his, in this world. The ministry of the Word is very demanding. It is not something of a person. So serving the Word, helping a person we talk to, that's what Jesus calls us to do it in a mysterious way. If someone is proclaiming Jesus, fighting on his behalf, 
and someone proposes to make a contribution, it is important to understand that this has to do with the Holy Spirit. When something in your heart connects with a petition, the mission of the church has people who are proclaiming and behind them are those who help. If there are none, there will be no evangelization because the evangelizer leaves the community that protects him, who supports him. That is why Elisha follows Elijah to serve him in his ministry as a prophet. If not, there will be no evangelization. Jesus calls each one to help his church in evangelization with the means he has. In the gospel, Jesus asks us to answer a yes to the truth and a resounding no to the lie. The truth is the truth, and the lie is the lie. May Jesus transform ourselves into true witnesses of the truth, which is himself, giving us truthfully to that work. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Immaculate Heart of Mary, protect us. Come, Holy Spirit. Jesus, I trust in you. Our Lady of Carmen, pray for us. Jesus Christ, be praised. <laughs>